This program is brought to you by UCKG. It's happening in every neighborhood. Down every street. Sickness. Addiction. And violence has been turning countless homes into crime scenes. Suffering. Depressed. Alone. Suicidal. Hello to all, may God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to your program, Problems and Solutions of this Tuesday here on the Opta Canal. And from Tuesday to Friday, 8 p.m., we have this appointment to have these 50 minutes of the power of God, where we are showing testimonies of people that found a new life. You know that uh, for your problem, there is a solution. That's why the name of this program. And even though that the, the, the time are passing so fast and we are already approaching in few weeks the end of the year and starting 2023, you can still, my dear friend, in this year of 2022, find the presence of God, find the solution of your problem because the solution of your problem is based upon the Holy Spirit. Because the moment that the presence of the Holy Spirit comes upon someone, that person has the opportunity to start a new life. When we say start a new life, and you're going to see the stories of tonight, and you see that people, when they arrive at the Universal Church, when they did the chains of prayers, when they heard about the Holy Spirit, through the Holy Spirit, they were able to start a new life and leave the past behind. Because sometimes you tried so many times. You tried and you have been trying. You are a fighter that has been trying to start a new life. But every time that you start a new life is like if the problems of the past come back. And then you get frustrated. You become down. You become without no strength. But you can start a new life with God. Because God is the only way that the only one, I mean, that can leave your past behind, that can leave your past where it belongs, the past, and give you a different future. And there are many people, millions of people, being transformed with this faith that we present here every single night through this program. Watch the stories of these people, and we'll be back with you straight after. Below your screen also there is our telephone number in case you want to contact us right now. We have people available to talk to you. A lot of it was to do with insecurities and like the way that I felt inside. Um, like I didn't value myself. So like, again, I would, you know, want to be the center of attention. You know, I started to realize that they weren't okay because I was suffering with a lot of internal issues, internal battles. And um, the secondary school, I was surrounded with like, for example, friends that came from like single parents as households, or maybe they're not only that, or their, their families gave them more freedom. And my mum and dad didn't really give me much freedom and things like that. So I started to hate them. So I started to look at, at it as if I wasn't getting freedom. I started to look at it as if, you know, they hated me as well. So a lot of these, um, these issues started to conflict and bring internal battles. But then when I was with my friends, when I was in school, I'd be a completely different personality. I'd be the bubbly glory, the, the glory that, you know, is wild, the glory that speaks her mind, that says says what she wants to. So that was me. But then they never, my family never was able to see my true self, but they started to notice that there were changes within my behavior, the reports that I'd get from school. So when I um, reached the age of like 13, that's when you know things got really bad because I started to be really rebellious. Um, I grew a strong hatred for my dad, but a really strong hatred for my dad. I didn't like him. I remember there was even a day when I asked my mum if I was adopted, and like she was so shocked. But it's because of you know how I felt inside uh, towards him. So I'd lie to my parents a lot. I would tell them that I was um, 
going somewhere when I wasn't go with my friends, go out with my friends, and my parents didn't know. So a, a, I was doing a lot of hiding, a lot of scheming, a lot of lying, and that really affected me inside. It wasn't getting me anywhere. I was always down. I was always upset. There'd be times I would lock myself in my room and there was that thing of, no, she's just a teenager, but it was much deeper than that. And I knew it was much deeper than that, but nobody else knew. I couldn't stand the thought of my own company. I couldldn't stand being by myself. I couldn't. And at that point I thought, hold on, wait, I can't stand being by myself. I can't stand the, the, the sight of myself, for example, in the mirror, none of that. So there's something wrong. The fact that I opened up, the fact that I spoke about what was actually going on inside, I was able to receive the help that I really needed, if that makes sense, not artificially. And from then, it helped me to be more of an open person. It helped me to be more transparent. It helped me to not be afraid to speak about things when, you know, things were wrong, if I was going through something. And from that help that I was able to receive, changes start to happen, not just on the outside, but inside out. I could be able to look at myself in the mirror and be happy with myself. I was more confident. Um, I didn't have the emptiness anymore. So re relearning about myself, relearning of how, you know, the change can truly happen and how it can be a sincere one. That's what really helped and I'm really happy for that. <laughs> I'm a completely, completely different glory now. Having peace inside, being filled completely, you know, not, not having to seek for that happiness in different way, places. So the glory now is fulfilled and I can stay by myself and be at peace about, you know, having to worry or about crying or being down, yeah. <laughs> I used to suffer from sleepless nights um, and uh, it made me to, when people go to sleep, I envied them because I knew if I'd close my eyes, what would happen next. So in, in order to try to avoid that, I would just take my school books and try to, uh, you know, study and it never helped because eventually I would fall asleep and the same things would happen over and over again. I used to have bad dreams and um, I, I remember I used to explain it to my parents and it seemed as if I was making up stories, but they were not stories. So it left me, um, you know, hurt because I was going through a lot of pain and I thought they would understand until at one point where I woke up bruised on my face and my face swollen and that's when they saw that I needed help. The whole family we used to go from one place to the other in, in search of help but we never really got that help to the place to the point that we just stopped going anywhere and tried to solve the issue by ourselves but it never helped and till a point where now uh, my mother got an invitation to the spiritual treatment. She attended first and then she told me, I think you should go, it really help. So because I knew how much the suffering I was in was causing a lot of destruction and pain in my life, I jumped in, I went. And on the first time I went there, it was the treatment of healing. And by the end of the service, the pastor said something that I related to, you know, he said his story was more similar to my story and he gave us a verse which was Psalms 91 to go read it before we go to sleep and should not allow fear to rule our lives because the devil works with fear. So I decided to do exactly that and um, I don't know what time I slept. <laughs> Usually um, I, 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 I see everybody going to sleep and they find me awake but on that night I they said I slept first and I was the last one to wake up and ever since then I've I've been sleeping peacefully so coming more often to the church I um, I learned a lot of things and after I, actually after I became free I just had the desire to come even more to the church and learn about the things of God even more and um, I attended my Wednesdays because it was Bible study and um, 
I started um, having more interest in the Holy Spirit. We were advised to seek the Spirit of God. I understood what seeking the Holy Spirit of the Holy Spirit was. So I did it more often at home. I didn't want to wait for anything else because I had developed this excitement or this interest more. And um, I received the Holy Spirit at home. And afterwards, I just had this desire to save many other souls and to be able to help other people that went through the same thing that I've been through. And ever since then, um, I never had fear of the future because I know that God is with me always and um, my future is in His hands. And um, also, I um, everything changed, you know, the same cast that I saw in my family of women having children before they get married and the drama that they had in their loved lives. I didn't get that. God um, taught me that it's Him first and then second is my love life and I got blessed with a true man of God in the house of God and I'm happily married and afterwards the case of um, people not getting married in my family I think I believe it broke because my cousins started getting married even my dad started getting married everyone got married afterwards so yeah, I would not have received the help that I had received having you know moving from one place to the other seeking help and I finally found my help uh, because the doors of the church were open for me. You know, my dear friend, these stories are not just stories with a, 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 a happy end. No, these is are true stories. People who suffer, people who cry, people who almost give up. But one day they heard about this faith that you are hearing right now. And they decide to give their step of faith. Because when people are suffering and they hear about this faith, you know, it's a matter of the person to think what I have to lose of doing my part, of using my faith. Maybe you knock at many doors, you tried in many ways, you have been trying in many ways to get rid of your problem, but nothing has been happening. You know, my dear friend, be part of this cloud of stories, of this cloud of testimonies that has been transforming people's lives. There is a solution for you. Yes, you who are there, my dear friend, alone, you who are depressed, you who have sometimes a desire to disappear. Maybe you, 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 you feel fo so frustrated because you try even to kill yourself and you couldn't. But you couldn't kill yourself because God has a new life for you. What you need to do is to stand up from wherever you are and do your part. Give your step of faith. The doors of the Universal Church are open. You can visit us every single day. Every single day we have someone available to talk to you. Myself or our colleagues, they are here to talk to you. And surely that through this faith, you are able to receive a new life. If you want more information about our Universal Church, visit our website, www.uckg.se. Tomorrow Wednesday, we have the prayer for the Holy Spirit, the night of the soul. If you want to visit us tomorrow, you are our guest at 7 p.m. Our address is Birgia's Gotten 106. Birgia's Gotten 106, very near to the Tunobana Tecnisca. But you can come either tomorrow, that is special because every Wednesday is special, or either any day because the doors of the church are open. We're going to leave you with the spot about the chains of prayers, and tomorrow we'll be back with another program, Problems and Solutions. Have a good night. May God bless you. This is your UCKG timetable, helping you to make a new beginning. Mondays, a meeting focused on achieving more in your financial life. Tuesdays, prayers for healing. Wednesdays, a meeting teaching you to develop in your spiritual life. Thursdays, a special prayer for the family. Friday, a service for your spiritual deliverance. Sundays, reconnect with God, the main meeting for your spiritual strength.
leave in this hospital until I know what's wrong with my daughter. If you want out, that's fine with me. This program is brought to you by UCKG.